Hi, my name is Val Fontama. I'm an AI and ML specialist in our field CTO team at Snowflake. So last time I built uh, a Streamlit app to help me with my diamond search. At the time, I built a chatbot um, that used Streamlit as a front end and Snowpark Container Services at the back end. Today, I want to show you a different way to do this even better. Today, I'll show you how I built a voice bot using Streamlit and Snowflake Cortex. And the specific LLM um, I'm using with Snowflake Cortex is the new Snowflake Arctic um, LLM. I'm very excited to share this demo with you. And the Streamlit app you'll see does three things. First, transcription from voice to text. Second, it does text to SQL generation. And third, the Streamlit app actually runs the SQL query on my uh, diamond stable in my Snowflake account and brings back the result. So how do I do the transcription? I do the transcription from voice to text using the Whisper model from OpenAI. You can also use um, Google Speech to Text Engine. That's an option. I have a, a switch in, in the code you can, uh, to do that. And then in the second phase, when I translate the user's question from simple English to a SQL query, I use the Snowflake Arctic LLM model, which is hot off the press. Okay, so let me show you now how the demo actually works. I'll demonstrate the, the uh, voice bot and then I'll uh, go under the hood and show you the code. All right. Um, so see you on the other side. How can I help you today? Show the five most expensive diamonds. What else can I do for you today? Which three diamonds have the highest carat values? Do you have any other question for me? Show the average price by cut and sort the results by average price in descending order. Is there anything else I can help with? Yes, also show the average price by color and sort the results by average price. What else can I do for you today? Is there a correlation between price and carrot? Do you have any other question for me? No, thank you. That's it for today. You're very welcome. Bye. Bye. Okay, so let's see what happened here. As I said, this is a, a streamlit app that does three things. So I basically built the vo a simple voice bot here to help me analyze my data. Because I was really thinking, you know, what if you could talk to your data? So this Streamlit app um, first does transcription. So when I speak to it, I use the Whisper model from OpenAI to transcribe from voice to text. So every time, so like when I ask the first question, you know, show the five most expensive diamonds, I use Whisper to transcribe to text, right? Step two is to use an LLM to basically convert this question from simple English into a SQL query. And for that, I use the shiny new Snowpark Arctic LLM model, uh, hot off the press, right? And I'll show you in a minute how I actually call it with the Snowflake Cortex LLM functions. And basically, the Snowpark, the Snowflake uh, Arctic LLM model will convert my question from simple English into the SQL query. And then the third thing is I run the SQL query on my um, Snowflake 
database and gets the results back. So that's essentially what I'm doing every time I ask it a question. First, it does a transcription. Second, it uses an LLM to, to do text to SQL conversion. And then third, it will run the query in my, my uh, Snowflake account and bring back the results, right? So you can do that back and forth, back and forth, basically talking to your data live with this voice bot, right? So how do I actually do it? Let's switch to VS Code and see how I did it. So if we just scroll to the top, I want to show you um, how I call Whisper. So I have a, a Whisper function here where I call um, the Whisper API to do the transcription for me, right? And it basically, it basically takes um, audio and returns the transcribed text. Then second, you know, once I get the, the transcribed text, I then call, um, I create a SQL query by calling the uh, Snowflake Cortex Complete function. And one of the, it takes many parameters and one of the most important ones is the LLM model. Which LLM model do you want to use with the Cortex Complete function? In this case, I'm using the shiny new Snowflake uh, Arctic model, which is very powerful. Um, and it's actually very good for, it performs very well for, for text to SQL generation. But you could use many other models, right? Uh, Cortex now, Snowflake Cortex now offers up to 10 different LLM models you can use, right? So you could use everything from the Gemma uh, 7B model from Google, you could use a Mistral 7B model or even a, everything up to Mistral 8x7B model from Mistral AI or even their large model. You, you know, you could use a large, the Mistral large model or the Rika um, flash model, which performs very, very well. It's up there close to uh, GPT-4. But with the complete function, you have to do prompting, right? Uh, complete The Cortex complete function is very flexible. You can use it to perform many, many tasks with uh, an LLM, but you have to tell it what to do. And you do that uh, primarily through prompting. And so in this case, I um, created a separate prompt file where I did a number of things. First. I give it the full, uh, fully qualified database name. So it knows that the results are in the diamonds table in my um, Snowflake account. I then tell it um, what it's supposed to do. So its job is basically to act as a Snowflake SQL expert uh, to create SQL queries. Then I give it some rules of the road, right? For example, I tell it, hey, if the user doesn't ask, right? Uh, limit the results to 10 max, right? You don't want to waste um, compute. Very important one is this one here. You should only, only use the names, uh, the column names we give you in, the, in columns and only use the table names we give you in the above table. Do not hallucinate, right? It's not fail safe, but um, it's one way to reduce hallucination. Ultimately, um, two very, very good ways to reduce hallucination are the, the RAG architecture and also fine tuning, right? But this is an easy way to get started. Um, and it proved effective for small um, queries, simple queries. Obviously, when you get to more complicated um, queries that need uh, ta multiple table joins, then this prompting uh, with the complete function is not effective. Um, for that, you will need to use a text to SQL LLM directly. And um, there are better ways to do this, which um, we'll get to um, in the next few weeks and months. Okay. Next, um, I want to show you where this code is. I've published this code on, on uh, our GitHub repo. You can get a very similar code here. I'm not in the GitHub repo. I'm not using um, the Snowflake Arctic LLM, but the rest of it is the same. I think my in my GitHub, I'm using the Mistral 7B model, but you, you may as well just use um, the uh, 
snowflake Arctic model. So that's it in a nutshell. Um, I've just shown you this um, Streamlit app that does three things. First, voice to text transcription. Second, um, text to SQL uh, conversion. And third, it actually runs the SQL query on my, um, my Snowflake account. So I hope you found this useful and I really look forward to the great apps you, you'll build yourself with um, Snowflake Cortex and um, powerful models like the Snowflake Arctic model. Thank you very much.